MGF 152 UC Whaler systems are easy to assemble hydraulic bracing systems designed to be used with steel trench sheets for two sided excavations. Fully compatible with the 200 series range, offering a minimum sheet to sheet dimension of 950mm when used with MGF's 250 collision hydraulic struts. Struts can be positioned anywhere along the whaler using clamps or seating cleats. When struts are installed in their outermost position, they can be used as end protection struts to provide shoring to all four sides of the excavation. Assembly commences by laying the 250 kN hydraulic struts on timber skids. For ease of installation, it is recommended to place the struts such that the hydraulic connections face each other. For wider trenches, 200 series extensions can be bolted to the 250 kN hydraulic strut. Ensure that the joints are properly bolted together with the minimum recommended torque. Top clamps should be loosely bolted to the upper side of the end plates on both sides, ready for landing on top of the whaler. Open the lock off valve with two full turns anti clockwise. The double acting hydraulic cylinder should be pumped out to the required trench width using the provided hydraulic hose and MGF bucket pump. When pumped out, close the lock off valve with two full turns clockwise. Place the 152 UC whalers on suitably sized timber skids to allow the lower clamps to be fitted. Note that for the 6 meter whalers, the continuous strengthening plate should be facing the trench sheets. Lift each strut assembly and carefully lower onto the whalers in the required locations, so that the clamps sit over the flange of the whaler. The bottom clamps for each strut can now be loosely bolted to the end plate, as each strut is being pumped out in turn. This is to ensure the clamps are not damaged. Alternatively, two-way bridles can be used to pump out both struts at the same time. Installation normally commences by excavating to a depth of 1 meter below ground level. Lower the assembled frame into the trench, giving enough room around the perimeter to drive the trench sheets. Repeat this process for the amount of frames required in the excavation. Stack each frame on top of the next within the trench, divided by timber skids. Ideally, the upper frame should be located at the level indicated by the design. Pitch the four corner sheets using the frame as a guide. MGF can provide the drive safe quick hitch attachment for safe and fast installation of trench sheets. Connect restraining chains from the corner sheets to the top frame and attach the hydraulic hoses to each top frame strut in turn. Open the lock off valve and pump out each strut to fully preload the sheets against the ground. It is recommended to have the struts pumped out to the required width prior to being installed within the trench, so this final pump out is simply to preload the sheets. When the top frame is pressurised, the top and bottom clamps on each strut can be fully tightened to the recommended minimum torque. The remaining sheets can now be pitched and driven as far as possible. If a digging window is required from the side of the excavation, it is recommended to drive in shorter sheets flush with ground level. Excavate to the required depth of the second frame, with the frame dropping as digging commences. The sheets must be driven ahead of the dig level and care must be taken not to excavate lower than the toe of the sheet. Reconnect the hydraulic hoses to the second frame struts and pump out each to full preload. Attach restraining chains between both frames and fully tighten the bottom frame clamps. Repeat this process if further frames are required. Continue to excavate to formation level, replacing the shorter trench sheets at the digging window if required. For excavations using struts as end safe, it is recommended to pack out between the sheets and the struts using suitable hardwood packers. Install edge protection and a safe means of access and rescue. 
152 UC Whaler systems are capable of achieving a clear opening between struts up to 5,540 mm, making them ideal for use with the MGF pipe lifter. Subject to a final inspection, the excavation is now safe to enter. <laughs>